doing the wings. And you know what? Sometimes you get sick of deburring. And when you have ribs beyond ribs beyond ribs beyond ribs, you do half of them and then you take a break and you actually have to start putting something together. So that's what I'm doing now is I'm just working on the uh, torque tube support assembly. So I hope you guys have fun. So howdy everybody. Uh, back for the sixth installment of the wings video video series. Um, and I was kind of sick and tired of deburring and, and that does happen, especially when you have tons and tons of ribs and you will see in this video, um, I do a lot of deburring and it was, um, I, I skipped a lot of the deburring so you guys don't have to go through it, but there was hours of deburring. So don't worry, you guys don't have to deal with it. Just, um, be aware that it does happen um and it is boring so i'll get out and this is um you have to kind of round over the edges there and that's what i was showing you because it fits in the curved area of the rib and so you have to kind of you grind it down so it's a little bit got a little bit of a round portion there on the um that piece so it fits inside the rib there um as far as jokes go, I did uh, get a joke in a comment that I wanted to share with people um, because it was hilarious and I loved it. Um, and so uh, I wanted to share that with you guys. So the joke was brought to you by D.A. Palmer 79. Um, and it says, the joke is, I watched a YouTube video about building a kit plane. It was riveting. <laughs> I thought that was fabulous. <laughs> it was riveting. That is a great joke. Um, thank you, DA Palmer 79 You are awesome. Um, so I really enjoyed that. Thought it was fantastic. Um, here I'm working on... Bending the big, thick, quarter-inch thick pieces of aluminum for the, um, they're the, uh, they hold the, um, they're the hinges basically for the flaps. And you basically do the weighing method. You put them in a vise and you smack it with a hammer. And then I used a, a straight edge to see where it was bent or where it wasn't bent. Um, just to make sure it was completely flat. And so you, you whack it a few times, straighten it out, whack it a few more times. Eventually, if you whack it enough, it will be straight. I mean, depending upon how you put it in the vise, that's kind of where it bends. And so you can see me kind of positioning it in the vise in different um, places. That's because I needed it to bend at a different location in the metal. Um, so I got those both straightened out, and they look really good. Um, and then they have you attach it to, um, they get attached to like the uh, second or third rib and then like the eighth rib. I forget which ones um, you kind of have to count over. And each rib in the wings is a little bit different. And so it's kind of odd um, in that some of them face inboard, some of them face outboard. Some of them have bigger holes in the top. Some of them have bigger holes in the bottom. Um, so you got to kind of keep track of those. And how I did that is I organized them. I aligned them the way they were supposed to be. And then I just kept them in that same order. Um, so I didn't get confused on which ones I was working on. And then um, you have to drill out. There's like 15 or 20 holes in those things. You just drill out each of them through the both sides of the, the reinforcement thing, the rib, and then the little plate that fits on the other side. And it's pretty easy. Um, but yeah, then you, uh, obviously you'll see me attach these in one of these videos coming up, but I, I do end up deburring and then um, painting or um, priming all of these parts. So every step in the build process is basically the same you kind of put it together position everything 
drill out holes, make sure it all fits together, take it all apart, deburr it, prime it, put it all back together, clico it all back together, and then start riveting things together. And then you can see I have the uh, main spar um, sitting on that table over there. Um, and then I attach each of the, the ribs as they go. And you'll notice the there's like four ribs that are really close together. That's where the where you step on the wing. So it's it's really strong actually. And they do have like doublers for the skins on that guy as well. Um, and then here is just a kind of an you know, slow view of the wing kind of all put together with all of the ribs there. It's kind of cool. You can kind of look through it and see all the way to the other side. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, and then they all of the ribs just they go down basically all the way to the end. And you can see it's the, the third rib has the flap and then it's the eighth rib has the flap. Okay, so I figured I would show you guys fluting. Um, because you do it a lot for any of the ribs, you got to make them straight. So I wanted to show you guys um, kind of fluting. So I did, I went down to my local metal uh, place where they have metal and they cut metal. And I got a nice big piece of flat aluminum. And I know it's flat because I put my straight edge on it. And then I'll show you here what we're looking at. So if you can see that bow right there on that guy, kind of bowed right in the middle right there. And I fluted this other edge. And so if you look at it, you see how it's nice and level across the bottom there? And that's because it's fluted. So let me show you how I do that. You basically, find out where it's bowed and you kind of go in the middle and you flute a little bit you see how it got a little bit lower you flute a little bit more until it gets a little bit lower a little bit more a little bit more that's looking good that's looking real good one more little one that looks pretty doggone good maybe a little right here and then if you think maybe you went a little bit too far in one like this one might be a little bit too far you get a pair of flat things and you just squeeze it out a little bit. Now look at that. Beautiful. Perfect. Nice and flat. And that is how you flute. And that is it. That's your lesson on fluting the wing ribs. It's actually really easy. Um, you do have to make um, those things flat that like using the hand seam where you can they, you make the, the flanges of the, the ribs a 90 degrees so it works out pretty well. Um, and then I do have my little die grinder, um, air die grinder with a um, medium uh, bit on the end there to, to kind of to deburr those uh, edges. So that's pretty much how all of that works. Um, I was mentioning that the, uh, um, the aileron hinges, those actually hook to the rear spar of the wing um, so they are not attached to the actual ribs so you don't you don't really see them in this part but you will see them in videos upcoming because they attach to the rear um, part of the the rear spar of the wing itself and that's pretty much it um, if you have any questions anything you want to share please comment um, like and subscribe to the videos talk to you later bye